The demand for web application continues to explode in today's evolving digital landscape. However, the traditional process of building a web application often requires relevant coding experience, which set up a barrier for those without programming background. Even though there are various web hosting services that provide templates for web developers, one has to make customization by adding unique functions, not to mention about the complex debug environment. But what if there was a solution that could empower anyone to create basic web applications effortlessly without knowing how to code and how to host? By leveraging the AI capabilities of large language models like GPT-4, such a solution becomes so simple to be implemented. By harnessing the potential of this application, I call Text to Web App or Web App Generator. So, in this app, users can now create web applications in their own natural language by describing the elements, functions, and appearance of an app, which eliminates the need for manual coding and debugging, and enabling even those without in depth programming knowledge to enter the realm of web app development. So in this video, we'll dive deeper into the development of this application, exploring how to put together Langchain OpenAI and Streamlit to create a useful assistant for web development. Please note that although Python is commonly associated with AI and ML, the web development community heavily depends on JavaScript and Node.js. Therefore, our application will be prompted to generate a JavaScript-based web app. Let's take a look at the UI of this application to give you a sense of its visual effect. This is the app. Users can simply type in the design preference in the text area and hit the create button. In just a few seconds, the generated app displays on the left side with functionality. Users can play around with it and see how it works. Oh, and if the result doesn't quite hit the mark, it's common in the LLM realm. Just give it another go and generate a new one. The source code will also be displayed below the user's input and one can simply copy and paste it to your own application. So, let's see how this actually works. So, in this test, I asked the generator to create a social media dashboard. So, here's the actual prompt. Develop a Google style dashboard app that displays social media metrics such as follower count, engagement rate, and post performance. Provide bar chart for follower trend from May to July showing data from 500 to 5000. Use this logo for the account. Another test is based on the requirement to create a calendar. So, here's the prompt that I served. Create a calendar with Outlook style of month July 2023. View displayed extend in the center and each date can be clicked to edit. After editing, the content is displayed in the box of the according date on the calendar with highlighted background color. The calendar is transparent and use this image for background pictures. The result look quite mature. To better understand the flow information and action within this application, let's dive into the block diagram of its function. The app design instruction is fit to prompt template constructing the complete query prompt to GPT 3.5 Turbo or GPT 4 models. Following the instruction of the prompt, the language model generates HTML with embedded CSS and JavaScript code. The final step is to call the component API of Streamlit to execute this JavaScript code in an iframe that interacts with the user. So now let's actually build this app. So first, let's talk about LLM chain. LLM chain within the family of long chain is the most typical chain that enhances the capabilities of language models. Comprising a prompt template and a language model, an LLM chain operates by organizing the prompt template using the given input values and optionally memory key values if accessible. It then forwards the structured prompt string to a language model and retrieves the model's output as the final result. So install the following package which is Langchain and OpenAI. Import the models and set up the OpenAI API key to the environment. Define a prompt template that reserves a section of the user input. Create the chain with LLM and prompt template. So now let's talk about Streamlit. As same as some of my previous project, we are going to keep it using convenient Streamlit toolset to build the web application for facilitating user input and various output interactions. So first, let's install the package using pip install and then we're going to set a default HTML using st.sessionState.html which is used to catch and transfer the text of HTML generated by the language model among web sessions. Create the widget of the column to separate the user input area from the app display area. The left column contains the text area for the user prompt, a button for activating the processing, and a code for wrapping the HTML source code. The right column calls the component API to display the HTML string in an iframe and make it interactive. And then define a function called generate to handle the on-click events of the button. So that when the user clicks on the button, the LLM chain can be activated to generate the HTML text based on text in the text area. Then updating the session state string for the component demonstration in iframe. Wrap the code up and run this file. If it is successfully running the URL with default port 
that external users can visit will be printed on your terminal. Your web app generator is now ready and capable of performing its task with effectiveness. So this is a very basic demo application to show you how to start your AE application development by using Langchain and Streamlit. With further development, they can be harnessed to create most robust and powerful applications suitable for commercial projects or personal assistance. That's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.